Hey, what's up guys? My name is Saurav and this is my YouTube channel, Data Science Novice. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. Your efforts are massively appreciated. So today we are starting a lecture series on missing values, which is a part of data pre-processing technique course. So if you don't know about it, like what we are going to cover or what techniques we are going to explore, I would suggest you to watch the previous video where I have explained what we are going to cover and also I have provided the link in the i button as well. So in applied space or in real world, data is really massive and we cannot work with it. And it contains a lots of missing values. Now missing values means that for a particular observation, we do not have any value. So for example, you ask people to fill the form and in the gender column, someone kept it blank or you can take an example of salary of an individual. So for example, you are in a company and you are asking your employees to fill the form. So some of them have kept the salary column blank. So in this case, these are the missing values and the reason could be anything. It can be a deliberate attempt just like we saw in the example or it can be a human error. I mean, there can be many reasons for the missing values. It entirely depends upon the problem we are dealing with or sometimes it can be happened due to the variable. Now, the second question that comes to the mind is why it is a problem for us. And there are two angles to this problem. The first one is the statistical and reporting point of view. So what happens is that if data has missing value, it reduces the power of data the statistical property changes and they convey some different meaning. So suppose there is a men's store and if someone has to enter the men's store, they have to fill the detail. So as we know that many men are accompanied by their sister or their wives, generally a female member. So now imagine a scenario where you looked at the register and you found out there are missing values. And the other thing you notice that there are more number of females than the male. Now, this is really a weird scenario because we have this understanding that in a men's store, we would have more number of males registering than the females. But here we are seeing the opposite and this is happening due to the missing values in the data. So this is just an example to show you how missing values can reduce the statistical power of the data. Now, the second thing is that our machine learning algorithm cannot be trained on the data that contains missing values because they don't know how to handle these kind of situation or you can say the data that contain missing values. So because of these problems, we have to make sure that our data does not contain any missing values. Now we are going to first understand the theory of each method. Then we will implement it on the actual data so that we have clear cut understanding. And for most part, we will be building our own function for missing values treatment or any kind of pre-processing steps that we are going to do in this course. So now coming to the techniques that we are going to use for missing values treatment are complete case analysis, which is in my opinion is the simplest of all yet tricky. Then we have 3M technique that stands for mean, median, mode, And this is a statistically loaded technique. So don't worry about it. We will explore more when we talk about it. Then we have antail imputation and finally we have missing category imputation. And now I have removed one technique from the list that is random imputation. And the reason being I have never seen anyone applying it. So what happens in that technique is we randomly choose values and we impute them. Now these are not the only techniques we have. There are many more advanced techniques for which we have inbuilt functions. But the idea is to get your basics right and once you have your basics at your hand, it will be easy for you to explore and understand more techniques. So the first technique we have is CCA, which stands for complete case analysis. So we are going to cover a few things like what is this complete case analysis technique is? What are the advantages and disadvantages of this technique? Now coming to the part, what is this technique? So in this technique, what we do is we simply drop the missing values from the data. And now you must be wondering that is this even a technique? Is it some kind of joke? You must have done it and you have never given much thought about it while dropping the missing values. But in actuality, this is really a tricky one. You can't just use it without giving much thought. There is a whole process and the graphical representation that you have to do before applying this technique, which we will see in the later part of the video. Here the technique assumes that data is missing at random and there is no deliberate attempt in keeping the missing values. 
The good thing is that this technique is suitable for both categorical as well as numerical variable. And in the practical section, we will learn how to apply it on both type of variables. Next is the distribution changes after excluding the missing values. It is a sign that we should not remove missing values from the data and we should use some other technique. And that is the trickiest part. I will explain you why just bear it with me. Generally, what we do is we set a cutoff or you can say threshold and this threshold vary person to person. That is if the missing values is greater than 5% or you can go more lenient like 10%, we should not apply this technique. Now let's understand this technique on a small sample of data. So here we have missing values in height and weight column. And once we apply the technique, we get another table which has no missing values. So here we are dropping the rows which has one or more missing values. One thing to keep in mind, we are going row wise. If we go column wise and start dropping the columns, then hold together, it's a different thing, which is known as variable selection, which is entirely a different topic. So just keep in mind that we are doing all the operations row wise. Now let's talk about the advantages of this technique. So the first thing is that this technique is easy to implement in the testing as well as production environment, which means that when you are deploying the model for actual use, then it can easily be incorporated in that environment. This technique does not require any data manipulation. So we do not have to play around with the data. There are some techniques where we have to do data manipulation like anti imputation, but here we do not have to do these things. Last thing is that this technique maintains the data distribution, which means that statistical property do not change, which means that the statistical power of the data is intact. Or you can say that this technique does not introduce wrong information if applied correctly. Now coming to the part of disadvantages of this technique. So the first thing is that it cannot be applied to the data where we have too many missing values and we will see why it's so. Next thing is that if we are not attentive about this technique and apply it without giving much thought, this might introduce biasness in the data or you can say it can create whole together different meaning in the data. Just like the example we saw in the men's store. And there is another thing that is data loss. So because here the operations happening row wise, so even though we are dropping the missing values for a column, the observation whether they are missing or not will be dropped in that row for all the other columns as well. So in a way we are dropping useful information. Now let's try to understand that how this technique can cause problem. So here we have the data set and it contains some missing values in all the columns. Now if we apply this technique we have the data which does not have missing values. So we have applied this technique without giving much thought. So far so good. Now let's do some analysis. So if we try to find out the percentage of missing values in each column, we see that there is 11% missing values in each column. Then we have 22% missing values in height column. And finally, we have 11% missing values in weight column. Now, as we apply this technique and try to look how much data we have lost after applying this technique, we see that earlier we had nine observations. But after this technique, we are only left with five observation. And if we do the math, approximately 44% of the data is lost. So now we can say that we have almost lost half of the information. And mind you, no column had missing values more than 22%. But the resulting effect of all the column caused the data loss so much. So now you can see that how this technique can cause problems sometimes. Like if you are doing linear regression or classification on a small set of data, you cannot apply this technique. So this is something we have to keep in mind while applying this technique. So that's all for this video. In the next video, we will implement this technique in Python and we will do some visualization to understand the statistical part of this technique. And this is just to remind you that this video is a part of data pre-processing technique where we are going to learn how to prepare data for machine learning algorithms. So if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. So see you in the next video. Till then, bye, stay safe and wear a mask.